borderline personality disorder, feeling like a giant tomato. Shit. What gets Mr. BPD's crank going? Redheads. Skinny redheads. Not too skinny. But not huge. So, a really just perfectly healthy weight redhead will get my crank going. Young as well, but not too young. But not too old. So, a redhead, it's the perfect weight and the perfect age will get my crank going. Has to be nice, but not too nice. Has to be kind of a bitch, but not too much of a bitch. Has to have attitude, but not too much attitude. I used to love women. I loved them all day long. Sometimes two, three times a day. And I don't want anyone to misconstrue what I'm saying. It's not that I... I don't hate women. I'm not going to go out of my way to like try to screw women over or anything. I'm not one of those anti-women, red pill, blue pill types that just think there's a conspiracy to try to frogs the male frogs think they're females now that's not a, when i say that about a frog i'm not bashing the gay frog in fact it actually changes them in reproduction they end up being hermaphrodites turn the freaking frogs gay serious crap gay frogs freaking frogs gay frogs i hate men and women the same both of them are just completely screwed up and it's not any of their faults. Men are screwed up because of society. Women are screwed up because of society. The way that we're told one thing, but we have to do another. And there's very confusing messages. And we're all made to believe that there's this, this tangible thing that everybody has that we don't have. And it drives us insane. Now, am I saying all women do this? Yeah, sure, you all do. When I was younger, I... I wasn't very picky. I would pretty much go out with any female and was attracted to pretty much any female and just just wanted to be with women, right? Now though, I could I really don't care. So my my expectations and what I need to happen before I'll date somebody, the list of things is so incredibly long and so detailed. Some of it's incredibly detailed. We must meet on a full moon after the equinox. And if that happens, that's the girl I'm going to be with. Number one, zero kids. They cannot have had kids, which that one pretty much covers everybody in my age group. So that's great. It keeps them all away. But every other woman, there's only two that are an exception to the rule. All other ones, if you have kids, consider yourself disqualified right then and there. If I'm going to date a woman and have a relationship with them, especially at the age I am now, I need to be the number one focus in their life. I should be their number one focus, not their kids. Therefore, I would get jealous of their kids, or their kids would get jealous of me, and there'd be there'd be that pull for attention, and it would be it's a it would end up in fighting, and I don't want to fight. I, it's not why I want to get into a relationship. And if they already have kids, they probably don't want to have more kids. See, I'd be willing to have kids with somebody that hasn't had kids. I'm willing to do that. But I'm not willing to just, like, have your kids around. You're like, I don't want kids no more. My whoring days are over. Be number two. You must still have some whoring days in you. Because every woman has her whoring days. Don't act like you don't. And then one day, I don't know what happens, but one day women wake up and they're like, I'm done with my whoring days. And they, they stop going out with the bad boys and the sexy guys and the guys that get their crank going. And they go and they settle for the accountant. Am I saying that all accountants are wussy men? Yes, yes I am. And send your complaints to P.O. Box Eat Shit at Go Fuck Yourself Drive. So I need somebody that's still got some horn days in them that hasn't settled for the accountant just yet. And so no kids and you still got to be a whore. This is a great video. You think this video is going to get monetized? Do you think I'll make money off this video? I'll tell you a secret. I don't make money off any of the videos. None of them. Because my content is just too much even though it's not natural much like accountants you have to be crazy but not like eating your turds crazy 
more someone pisses you off, you're, you're willing to stab somebody to prove a point. I'm not saying I want anyone violent or anything, but I want somebody that can take care of themselves if they feel like they're threatened or anything. That's just for their own protection because I know myself. One of the reasons I stopped dating in the first place was because I was not a very good boyfriend. I wasn't very good at dating. I believe that those days are behind me. I do not believe that if I were to get into a relationship that I would be abusive. But I have not tested it. I don't date for the same reason I don't drink. Bad things happen. I don't drink anymore, though. The drinking had a lot to do with it. Not saying the alcohol made me abusive. Just saying the alcohol made it funner to be abusive. Movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos for creative... Surprise admission of my guilt. Nothing's better than having a woman by your side when you're going through some horrible, nasty, wretched... Like, like when you're shitting and puking at the same time, and they're there to hold the bucket. And then they clean up after that, too. I guess that would go in the, you know, win column. So, see, it's not that I hate women. I, mean, I do like them. Dickhead. You really are a fucking dickhead. I mean, if you want to know what kind of women I'm attracted to, I mean, it's really easy. We could just look at the very first crush I ever had. First time I truly, truly fell in love. And that was with Gadget from Rescue Rangers. Gadget could always get my crank going. Still can. I... Do you think that I am just a naive, stupid idiot? You should be punched in the penis by a guy that professionally punches people in the penis. If so, let me know in the comments section below. And until next time, keep on keeping on. Just to clarify and let all the women out there know that any woman that happens to be a subscriber is completely 100% excluded from everything I just said. Because if you've subscribed, I love you already. And you've already got my heart, so don't even worry about it. Because you are all badasses. Just so you know, you're all badasses. I mean that. True badasses. I just like saying badasses now. Alright. <laughs>